kids. So let's talk about PewDiePie. Let's talk about Felix. Everybody knows probably by now that Felix made a video where he posted to a website called Fiverr asking for these people in what looks like a jungle to make a sign that says death to all Jews and to say out loud death to all Jews and then like the Wall Street Journal got into this big scandal and I feel as a YouTuber like I should talk about it. So there are a couple of layers to this that I really want to talk about. And I think that there's a problem with the way everybody is talking about it, and I think the problem is that this is a complex issue, and everybody is talking about only one side or the other. And the problem is that people are right to criticize Felix for his hate speech, and people are right to call out the Wall Street Journal for their bullshit, and recognize that this is the end of media as we know it. So here we go. First, let's talk about how Felix is a racist, and how this is problematic, and how I'm still watching his videos, and how I'm problematic too. So first, I want to say that you will never encounter a totally pure, righteous, and holy media. The content I produce is problematic. The content everybody produces is problematic. And so it's okay to enjoy problematic things, which is why I'm still watching his stuff, because I think he makes enjoyable content. But I think it is really awful of him to joke about genocide in such a flippant manner, especially a genocide that, as far as any of us are aware, he has no connection to. As far as the internet is aware, because Felix is from Scandinavia, his family was not targeted ethnically through the Holocaust, or any Jewish targeting throughout history, ever. And there's been a crap ton of them. And because he doesn't know what that experience is like, he doesn't have the right to joke about it. Humor at its core is a way of reshaping and reclaiming our experiences of tragedy. This is not a debatable topic, this is a fundamental understanding of how we process humor as individuals. And this goes to one of the very first understandings of humor we have, which is peekaboo. So peekaboo is a childhood game, and it works like this. You are the infant, I am the non-infant. I cover my face, and you cry. Are you crying yet? Because you're supposed to be crying. Then I go peekaboo, and you laugh. Why? Because the fear that I am gone has been resolved, because I have returned. So this tragedy has been resolved, and is no longer a threat. And because you have overcome this tragedy, because you have survived, you can reclaim it. Felix and his family have not survived this genocidal tragedy, and so he does not have this right to reclaim it. He doesn't have this need to cope by reclaiming it. And so to do so anyway, it's so fucking insensitive. And then we get to free speech. Free speech means that the government cannot arrest you for saying things that it doesn't like. It does not mean that companies cannot fire you or cancel your shows. I think it is perfectly fine for Disney to cut their ties with him. I don't think it is acceptable for YouTube to have done what they did, because he didn't break any terms of service, as far as I'm aware, and he is their number one creator, and they need to stand by their content makers, because they wouldn't be as successful without him. After all the musicians on YouTube who don't really count as content creators, he is their biggest draw. Now we get to the Wall Street Journal and the death of all media, because Felix is clearly not a Nazi. He can be shamed for his content, and he can be ostracized all people want and whatever, 
But he's clearly not a Nazi. He is clearly a guy who's just trying to make people laugh and have a good time.